The American Heart Association HBCU Scholars Program really developed organically as we look at addressing health disparities in our community. It's really important that we have representation from those communities that are most greatly impacted. We really chose the HBCU Scholars Program as a way that we could introduce the American Heart Association, its mission, the problems that we're trying to address in minority communities with young people. The younger voice is important. So like programs like this give younger people like us um, the knowledge to go ahead and say, hey, you know, cardiovascular disease is like really important, even though a lot of people know, not a lot of people do anything about it. There is so much untapped talent in our country, particularly with young people. And it's hard for them to find ways to access the careers they might want to achieve until they've actually been able to partner with somebody who is doing what they want to do in the future. Being in this program, it helped me solidify like what I want to do after I graduate. How can I change these policies so that they're beneficial for you know people like me and everybody else? Actually, at Tennessee State University, we did not have anything in biomedical research. So I know that it is helping them to formulate their career focus. We're talking about future leaders. We're talking about people that come from the very communities that the AHA is, is constantly thinking about trying to improve the health of. This gives us the opportunity to be leaders and to step up and to be the first ones to, you know, address the issue and try to solve it and see what can be done in the city. It just opens the door for that. Opens the door. We want others to join us in this, uh, join us in this mission to create opportunities for more students at more HBCUs so that we can have a national uh, HBCU Scholars Program. The broader the cohort, the more likely the cohort will be self-inspiring and self-sustaining for the future. There is a lot of capital in our communities. Uh, these are the best and brightest that we're helping to support. This is really the pathway by which we are really going to be able to harness that intellectual capital. It's really our goal, using a number of mechanisms, to be seen as the trusted partner in this space so that we can convene and bring together the stakeholders necessary to push the ball forward.